Are you a fast-growing e-commerce provider wanting to accept orders from Amazon, eBay, Walmart, and more? Do you want to process those orders in your order ERP system, getting the best shipping rates possible and having those products shipped out of your warehouse in the most optimized way? Then you have to watch this video to learn more about our Odoo Ship Station connector. I'm going to fire up my laptop and show you exactly how this connector works. Hey, welcome to Odoo Ship Station connector demo from Confines Global here in Charlotte, North Carolina. For this demo, I have two tabs open here. One is the Odoo already pre-configured with the connection to ShipStation and I have the ShipStation tab open as well. This connector that we built, it will automatically uh, get all the all your orders from uh, whether it's Amazon or uh, Walmart or different EDIs already available on ShipStation will be pulled directly into Odoo. Uh, for the sake of this demo, we cannot pull live data from Walmart or Amazon. So we are going to create an order here and then go through the steps. So I'll start by creating a sales order. I'm choosing a company name. That was everything is already filled. I'm going to add a product. I'm going to save the sales order. And you can see that once we have this ship station already configured, there is a, there is a button called add shipping. So when you click on add shipping, it will actually open a new dialog box. Uh, by default, you can actually set every order to be shipped using ShipStation or you can choose this, uh, whichever is working for you because some companies you might be using both. So I select ShipStation. You can actually select like the shipping carrier. For this demo, I've only uh, configured USPS. I'm going to leave it as it is and I'll click on get rate. So when I click on the get rate, the Odoo system through the connector is actually querying the USPS. Uh, configured uh, in ShipStation and show me all these options, right? This is great for you to compare like, hey, uh, which one I want to use. And also you will see that there's a shipping charge and a markup, right? Because you can configure like, um, you can add like a margin on the shipping rate so that you, you can make sure that you never lose money. So in this case, I'm going to choose a USPS priority mail large flat rate box. Click on add and you can see that the shipping already being added as an item and it's all updated here right now i'm going to click on confirm when i click on confirm the sales order uh, it's automatically going to create a delivery order for me i go into the delivery order by clicking on the truck icon and here i'm going to validate i'm going to force validate again uh, i'm not going through the the entire process of showing you orders so i'm going to force validate it will ask me like a warning, like immediate transfer, and I click apply. And you can see that the status is now set to done for this warehouse order. Now, look at this sales order. We are going to ship station and we are going to refresh. You can see that the sales order eight is now updated. Uh, I'll click on that. So all the information, the address that I had in record for our business, 128 South Trans Street, the floor number, everything is there and the product SKU, all the data is here. I can show you by clicking on the printed test label. Again, this is just a, a test label. That's why there's a void symbol there. This is not configured with the real USPS account. So you can see like uh, the test label. Now, if you are on a live system, this is a test ship station account we are using for the uh, sake of this demo. If you go back to the sales order, on the shipping info, you can see that the ship station ID, order key, everything is updated. What type of the shipping that you chose, it's stamps.com, the service, USPS priority mail, the package, everything is updated here. The tracking reference is not updated because we are working against a trial ship station account that does not have a real USPS account. If, if this is on a live system, automatically the tracking URL will be here. You can click on it and make sure that uh, you can actually track the progress. And also, if once that shipping is completed, this will change to ship with the green color. A little bit of background into this Odoo ship station connector. We first built this connector 
by having a customer in mind. So we saw that many customers uh, who use Odoo had complained like, hey, we can go and download a ShipStation uh, Odoo connector or any connector uh, from different places. But the problem is we need a service provider who will provide us a service where they make sure that the connector works. They make sure the orders are actually syncing correctly from the different channels into ShipStation, as well as from ShipStation to Odoo, then Odoo back to ShipStation for the final shipping, right? They want a service where we make sure that everything is running properly, monitor API changes on the ShipStation side, as well as the Odoo side. Uh, that way the service is always up. And we are typically not trying to be that company that builds like 50 or 60 different modules for Odoo, we will only release like modules that we make sure that we can service at a higher level. I'll give you an example. For the for one of our customers, we integrated ShipStation with Odoo. And on top of that, we also connected with Commerce, which is uh, used by Home Depot and Lowe's. The problem is if an order from Lowe's or Home Depot is synced into ShipStation and within two to three hours, if the order is not confirmed, then the customer is going to be penalized by Home Depot or Lowe's. And they want to make sure that the order confirmation, the shipping, everything has to be happening within a time limit. So we being the service provider, giving this module, as well as making sure that every day every month every year we are supporting and making sure that nothing breaks that is the promise from confluence so uh, i get a lot of questions like hey there's other ship station odoo connectors which are cheaper than what you're offering sure they are but that's just a do-it-yourself project where you are actually installing a module it works as long as it works if it fails then you have to run around and try to fix it in this case this is a white glove service where we assure you that the plugin is going to work or the module is going to work the service is going to be up plus the we, you can also have a separate agreement to make sure that uh, you have support and maintenance monitoring everything from us uh, as well as you are guaranteed like the next version uh, odoo connector will be given to you once again this was the odoo ship station uh, connector demo from confiance global uh, here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get more videos uh, from us. If you're watching this on social media, uh, give us a like or a share. Once again, thank you for your time and we appreciate it.